We actually have a. This is the biggest audience we've had. I'm not comfortable. I have a direction. No, I'm comfortable. <laughs> Brew review and uh, the principle of the show is pretty simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the room while our beer winch. I we actually have winches here this time. I, I, don't, I don't know who's pouring. I yeah, no maybe idea. all of them. Hopefully, doesn't matter. But we're going to leave the room. They're going to pour a beer. You're going to see what the beer is, the, the name of it, who it's by, and uh, there's actually going to be facts put up on the screen for you to read before we come back and we tell you what we think about it. We'll give you a quick like snap judgment what we think once we see the beer like sight smell taste then we'll drink the whole beer and give you like an actual review now you'll know all of these details before we go back and forth about it so you'll actually know whether we're kind of know what we're talking about or whether we're full of shit now keep in mind that neither of us while we have drank a lot of beer in our days uh, are any sort of connoisseurs or beer aficionados. Uh, most beers that we have on this show are the first time we've ever had them, so uh, we may use language that makes no goddamn sense. We're wrong often because we're just your average dudes drinking beer and telling the average people whether or not they should also drink said beer. Yeah. So without further ado, we're going to leave the room, our uh, beer winch of the night, whichever, I'm going to let them fight for it. They're going to pour our first beer, and then we'll be Jello done. Jell-O Russell? Ooh. Alright, welcome to the Jell-O and Brew review. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be pretty I want to, I want to watch that. Continuing on the trend uh, from last week, it's like it's gonna be another dark night. I that <laughs> joke, actual beer. Uh, this is this is dark. This is darker like, than the black. Like if you look dark right at the corners, you can see a nice little, or like the edge, you can see a nice like super dark. Like amber, right, if you look like right in the corner of the beer, you can see baby. <laughs> <laughs> No dirty dancing jokes. Noted. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to figure out like a pancreas can or an ass cancer joke, but couldn't figure it out. <laughs> couldn't put your finger on it. In it. <laughs> <laughs> got a coffee fl scent to it. Yeah, no. This is coffee. This is cold coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the best part of waking up. <laughs> so. I'm going wrong. based on the flavor that it's probably that I'm gonna guess like a five or six percent, mm -hmm. but it's also yeah, it's a stout, amount. a coffee stout, so it could be close to That's pretty in line with what I was gonna think. So. But it's like it's really smooth. Yeah, I like this. Well, we're gonna uh that's gonna be our flash judgment. We're gonna uh speed things up. Hey, I got an idea for a new segment. Oh, uh, after our, our flash judgment, what if we like do like an interpretive dance? Maybe it's like a we can call like the uh, I don't know. Like, uh, like our flash dance. <laughs> How about this? Why don't we put it on... Why don't we put the beer, like, on a rotating, like, like Lazy Susan sort of thing mm -hmm. that goes real fast, and right. then, like, every once in a while you grab it and take a drink, and I'll stand behind you, but you won't be able to see me. I'll be, like, <laughs> like, I'll be like, like a ghost. <laughs> Or what we could do is take these beers like on the road with us 
and then and go like, to different people's houses, houses and we can okay, the show like Roadhouse. Road yeah. Yeah, that's a kicking title. Yeah. Roadhouse. <laughs> 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 Just like the Power Rangers, we all have our own like little niche in the in the world. For example, yours is Triceratops. <laughs> no one likes me. <laughs> Can I fart? Can we have a fart track? <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I do a all time fart? If you have that much bowel control, I do. I do. I've heard that about you. It's true. I mean. <laughs> Beer, obviously. Yeah. There hasn't been a lot that's changed since the initial, like, or for me at least, for the uh, our, the snap opinion. Um, much like some of the people in this room, <laughs> goes down real smooth. <laughs> this was actually a really super smooth beer for as dark as it was, and I mean, aside from last episode, which. I really liked all the dark beers for the, well, for the most part. Um, this was super smooth, had a really nice, like, cold, like, black coffee taste with, like, a, I got a hint of, like, like a bittersweet chocolate, or, a, like, bitter chocolate taste, like, after a while. It built up. It wasn't, it, it's not very overt, but it, it, was, it just, it felt like that. A lot of stouts, like, this was almost all coffee. Like, we've had a couple coffee-flavored beers on here in the past, but they've always been mixed with... Like chocolate or with like a malt. Like hazel or yeah, yeah. Like you know, it's got that malt finish or something like that. Yeah. This, it's not. It's just all coffee. It's super smooth. The finish is almost non-existent. So as you saw, might see, like we pretty much chugged the last little bit of this so we could get back to talking about it. And and it wasn't difficult to chug at all. Like it just, it's incredibly smooth. It has lots and lots of flavor. If you like coffee. Um, I wouldn't that's suggest, great. I wouldn't suggest chugging it. No, no, no. I mean, but, you, you miss out. But I'm just saying, like, it, some beers you try to chug, you're just like, no, no, it's not. Too much chewing involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this this didn't have that kind of a problem. So, um, I don't know. I really enjoy it. I just, I'd give it a thumbs up. I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way to grab this beer. But that's just because there are other beers that I prefer. However, for what it is, I give it a thumbs up, too. Yeah. Because I enjoyed it for the purposes of the show. I'd recommend it to anyone who likes dark beers. It's it's not super complex. It keeps it simple, but does that simplicity like really, really well. Yeah, yeah. So without further ado, I want to see what it is. Oh, it's a left hand. hand. I've never I don't think I've never had a left hand. I've got like a bottle. Oh, I've got at least one on me, but at least. At least. Brewed on the banks of the mighty Saint Vrain, which is like Regular rain, but still has its meat card. <laughs> Roasted malt and coffee flavors built the foundation of this creamy sweet stout. So mm -hmm. we were surprisingly correct, which happens every now and then. Six percent, uh, six percent ABV, so we're, we're pretty wide right on that. there. Yeah. Uh, Rocky Mountain water. Thank God I did not say Rocky Mountain oysters ingredients. Malted mm -hmm. barley, hops, yeast, flaked oats, and lactose. Huh? I mean. Uh, I mean, I I see I see the milk stout now. That's I guess that I was thinking more of a coffee stout from the flavor, but I guess knowing it's a milk stout, I I mean I get that because it is really so coffee. Well, right, right, right. But I, that's where that I guess smooth creaminess comes from. Is in the milk. Yeah. Stout. Like um, I don't have a lot of experience with milk stout, so I'm, I wouldn't really know. That's one of the easiest. Like, that's one of the most non-offensive milk stouts I've had. Not that I don't like milk stouts, I do, but a lot of them just try to... They just try to do a lot. Oh, and this one just seems to just 
not try to go out of its way to be anything crazy, but really Isn't the uh, Dragon's Milk a milk stout? Yeah, yeah that, that, and I like that one a lot, but it but is super way, complex. It is super complex and definitely more abrasive, and not necessarily a bad way, but it's definitely a more complex and just explosion of flavor and like kind of confuses you. But this, this is pretty simple, you're right, to this point, gets the job done. So, <clears throat> Left Hand Brewing Company, Milk Stout, it's not even a special name, it's just Milk Stout. <laughs> They make really good beer. They do. Well, uh, I had the I've got their limited edition this year's uh, Fade to Black. Oh Carly. yeah, the uh, the Christmas beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's beer. their winter beer. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. From Longmont, Colorado. Yeah. Left hand, milk stout, thumbs up. All right. With that, we're gonna leave the room. Second beer is going to be poured after the uh, mugs are washed, and we'll be right back. Dark, it still has that tinge of blood, cr crimson at the bottom, or you know, on the edge. I like, so, I like that word. The blood ocean. Am I wrong in thinking that that has like a like citrusy smell to it? I don't think it's citrus. I think it's a really hoppy smell. Yeah, well. It almost smells like what I would expect an IPA to smell like, which doesn't make me happy. I mean, they have those. I mean, they do. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm... There's definitely hops there. <laughs> and, like, I've had two sips off of this, and, like, my tongue is all... I feel like I could peel the flavor off of my tongue right now. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Well, that's... That's what the fast-forwarded segment is, uh, is supposed to be. Yeah. So, if, uh, I, I definitely don't like it as much as the last beer. I also feel like this beer would put you on your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is def. I want to say the last one was what six. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one in the, at least the eight. Yeah. Eight or nine is what I was thinking. Ooh, I just burped it. Not a happy burp. No. Well, no. <laughs> and that's an important grading scale here on Beer to Brewer. You're like, if you, did it, you know, you start puking it up later, so you're going to have to taste it again. Oh, uh, no, you, you don't want black, just awful flavored puke. Yeah. You want, like, cider flavored puke. That's why we, that's why we drink it. It is. Not why. It helps. It it's a nice little, like, silver lining to, like, our poor decisions. <laughs> silver lining to my, my stomach, stomach lining. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I guess we're going to start drinking this and... I'll either come back ranting and raving about, okay, I really like it, or I will come back saying, uh, fuck this beer. <laughs> I'm not sure. Disappoint. I mean, he did marry you. Oh! oh! Do you have to Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? Just all have to wait until then. If I get drunk, well, I'll pass out on the... You know, it's far too warm outside for a sweater. So shame. Also... <laughs> also, that is a Cosby sweater! A Cosby sweater! You've never watched an episode? It's, let me tell you, Brittany, it's not surprising that people haven't seen the show. I mean... <laughs> she called me late last night, say she loved me so. I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> it's... Isn't that what you put, like, rocks into and it smooths them out? Yes. But Tumblr is literally just live journal and nobody knows that. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> like, live journal. Like, <laughs> Tumblr is literally just live journal, but everybody's amazed about, by it. You're like, guys, they did this already. <laughs> yeah, this was done in the 90s. Oh, that's Ready? Shh. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Get out. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Put oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. your pants on. It's like, it's like the candy man. If you say it, it will I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. This is I will not have this is the most efficient what human centipede ever created. <laughs> oh. Oh. What is he more like a human uh Lingworm. Or is that <laughs> roly poly? Human roly poly. <laughs> so uh, what's been the hardest part about your new thousand seven? My dick? <laughs> <laughs> Again, obviously. Um, ben had to chug the last bit of his, and unlike the last time when we did that, uh, not as nice of a pet. I don't. I didn't like it. I didn't like that at all. It's definitely not my style. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's just not my style. Uh, it's 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 just too hoppy. I mean, everybody who's watched the show so far, if you watch any episodes, you know we talk a lot about how we don't like hops. It's just too much. Like the finish is just too much. Like the the. The building taste that just accumulates over like continued drinking. Uh, it's not a it's not a put down to the brewery like. Right. Like, this is a personal taste. Exactly. Issue. Like yeah. we think that what you made was quality and it exemplifies it probably exemplifies exactly what you were trying to go for, but it's not. It's not. It's for not us. for our taste buds. Um, so in that respect, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna middle of the road it because. For me, I would not drink this beer. So, but, but in terms of quality craftsmanship, mm. it's good. So I just feel like that I'm going to give it a Miller. On a, on, a, on a personal note, like I've got to give it a thumbs down because I didn't enjoy drinking it. But quality craftsmanship, like I know that it's a good beer, just not for me. I'll, I'll give it. A, I'll, I'll follow your suit. Like middle of the road. Like I can't say don't ever get this beer because I'm sure that if that's your style, you'll probably really like it. Yeah. But definitely not for me. I'm so. going to guess an Imperial, before we reveal, I'm going to guess an Imperial style. Or a dark IPA. What is it? I don't have a black IPA. Black IPA. Black IPA! Now, O'Connor, which, I mean, we know from past experience that O'Connor makes really fucking yeah, good beers. They're local here to Hampton Roads where we yeah. live. So there is the Black Dismal Black IPA, and it is. Let's see if we were right about the number. Uh, Seven point five. So we were pretty we close, right about eight. So we were pretty close on that. Named after the wildlife refuge, the Great Dismal Swamp in southeastern Virginia and northeastern North Carolina, once used as a part of the intercoastal waterway, is a dull, full, yeah, dark, full-bodied ale, extensively hopped, both in bittering and aroma. So yeah, just like I said, what they sought to do. They accomplished really well. God damn it, Brittany! Uh, entire show ruined. I we're starting over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it is a dark, full-bodied ale, and it is very much hopped. So if that is your style, this is a pretty damn good beer. And and I also happen to know that all of O'Connor's beers are very well priced. For a black IPA, it's exactly what it sounds like. This is a incredibly aromatic uh, and hoppy in flavor. Um, Dark IPA. 
I don't like that type of beer. Ben doesn't like that type of beer. We've said so on numerous episodes. But I know there's people out there that love that kind of thing. So if you can get a hold of O'Connor stuff, feel free to pick it up. But we're not in love with this particular brew of theirs. But yeah, without uh, continuing to beat a dead horse, we're going to uh, leave the room. Third beer is going to be poor. That'll be the last one of the night. Thanks for sticking with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Cece's Pizza. There's a lot of wheat beers that look like this. I guess that's true. It's incredibly cloudy. Um, which I'm beginning to think that I just can't fucking smell anything because now this is the like third. Well, the first smell like citrus again. No, no, oranges, I, more oranges, Ben. No. I like it. That's. Wait, right. I could be wrong, but this this reminds me of uh, one of the. Uh, Oh, what is that? Reminds me a little bit of Legends Brown. A little bit. It actually kind of reminds me of like one of the pyramid uh, wheats. I... Would you drink a like a wheat beer like it was it just had Michael Jordan. Wheaty and then it was like it had Michael Jordan on it? Yes. Yes, what I would. If, what if it was baseball Michael Jordan? I ha I had his rookie baseball card. Yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to looking drinking the rest of this beer because like I really like. I don't dislike it. I like browns and I like um I like wheat beers a lot, um but. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what I feel like at the end of this. So yeah, we're going to uh, fast forward things and we'll be back here in a couple minutes. You don't understand how parents will suspend belief. Like, yeah. oh, really? My mom still thinks that my love of fart noises is a phase. <laughs> this. I haven't finished yet. I actually want to sip on it some more. Uh, I didn't want to chug it like the last one because that was fucking awful. Um, the longer I've drank this, I was I was expecting at first for there to be like a lingering taste. Um, the finish on this is really super smooth. Um, once you once you swallow it, like that's it. Like you're done. Giggity. I don't like beers that the finish sticks with you for too long. I just God, even that sounds fucking dirty. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, it's just mine. Cum jokes and dicks. All his dicks. No wonder my mom thinks. Uh, that's not what makes your mom think that you're gay. It's, it's bunnies. Fine. Cum jokes everywhere. Those are fine. But God damn, we want a giant bunny to put a little He-Man action figure on. And, oh, here we go. All of a sudden, gay. God, I, hope, I sure hope he's the top and not Biggs, even though he's taller. <laughs> Contained like drink. You drink it. You get the flavor. You're done. It does have a like a very light uh, fruit flavor to it. I, it uh, not not much, but it's just a little bit to it. Like it's a, there's a sweet flavor. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. It's, it's a sweet flavor, but not maybe not fruit. But yeah, I get the essence of some fruit, not a citrus. Right. Uh, the, I I wasn't really crazy about it when we first started drinking it. 
Um, but I'm starting to think maybe it's because I would still have lingering bits of hops and everything else from the last beer. Very different than the beers I normally drink. Mm -hmm. And so I think it also took some getting used to for me. Yeah. But in the end, by, by the bottom of the glass, I was pretty happy with the beer. But I, like, I wouldn't mind having another one right now, even. Yeah. I would actually say that this is a really solid dinner beer to me. Like, I've, there's a lot of meals that I think that this would complement and go well with. Well, like, like you can see this being good with a pork chop. Sure. Well, like the O'Connor, and maybe not the meal step, but definitely the O'Connor. Like, the flavor is so, like, like punch you in the face that it's gonna overwhelm whatever, whatever you're eating. You're but this at. is this is complimentary. Like, it's not. So so bold as to overtake anything, but it's not it's not water where you know it doesn't do anything. It's not a flavor, it's just you know fluid. Right. But in the end, I'm I'm much more happy with the beer than I thought I was going to be. Uh, and I will I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay. Uh, I think I could have gone a 45 degree angle, but just based on the fact that that little bit sold me as much as it did. I think that's cool. Really good. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up as well. I may be completely wrong as to the style of it, but whatever it is, I'm a fan of. I think it's a well-crafted beer. I think it tastes really good, and I think it's smooth as hell. So I really want to know what this is. Ooh. Oh, it's the Aventinas. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, well, I've had it at home, but it's Aventinas, Germany's original wheat Doppelbach ale. So we were right about wheat. Uh, we missed the Doppelbach, but I don't know enough about it to tell you why the example does a fucking Doppelbach. They doubled the amount of box in it. Oh, oh. I thought they doppled them. Like, like Doppels is German for double. I thought it was German for like like weather map. No, that's Doppler. Yeah, well, it's, it's fact, German. Like right, they, they but dropped that's, the ER. And right, but that's no the, the reason why they call it Doppler radar is because there's there's two radars. Oh it's a it's a double radar. Oh, okay. Doppel. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. So you, we're not just about beer at the Bearded Brew Review. We actually want you to leave here knowing a little bit more about life. So it might be it might be the wrong things about life, but we want but you to know them. But you know it. Yeah. Which is, do it. We're do it now. Brewed and bottled by Weiss's Brauhaus, uh, Schneider and Zoom, product of Germany. A rich and complex delight from Bavaria's oldest wheat beer brewery. Uh, carefully selected ingredients, skilled fermentation in open vessels, as well as fermentation and maturation in the bottle guarantee the distinct taste of the authentic wheat ale. We were way off on the ABV. It is, uh, it is 8.2. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. It is, and it, it goes down real smooth to be that potent. Um, old one before. Super fancy bottle. Oh, really, really, like, tops bottle. But I also know that it's not exactly the cheapest beer, either. Like how much did a uh, like this bottle? Which this is a uh, this is a pint bottle. How much did that bo pint pint bottle runs four twenty nine to four to four nine? Which is which that's is not terrible. terrible. Not at all. Which is not terrible for the quality you're getting. It's it's not a cheap beer. Like, yeah, exactly, it's not a cheap beer. To get it. Right. Also valid. So you're looking between a four and six dollar beer generally, um, which is which is really solid for the quality you're getting out of this. Uh, <laughs> Are we going to take a break and we'll come back and kind of do it? Okay, sure! Here? Let's do that! Let's take a break and then come Why back! Why don't we just stick to the format that we've done for five I don't times. fucking know! <laughs> Thank you for watching uh, the Bearded Brew Review. Just a quick recap of what we went through tonight. Milk Stout by the Left Hand Brewery. Um, we both give this one a thumbs up. Um, it is smooth. It tastes great. Like, it is... It's got a, a really awesome coffee taste. Like. Get that beer. It's really good. Yeah. Um, next up we have uh, the Great Dismal Black IPA by O'Connor. Uh, we both gave it a middle of the road solely because we just don't like that style. Um, yeah, we're not we, IPA people. Yeah, but we both have experience with O'Connor beers and we know that they make solid, solid brews. Like, if, if that is your style, pick that beer up and I'm sure you will fucking love it because they, they do quality work. And last is the Adventinus by uh, Schneider and Son, um, the uh, the wheat Doppelbach, and we both gave this one a thumbs up. Like uh, that is a really solid beer. If you are a fan of wheat beers, you're going to love Adventinus. If you're not a fan, you'll probably still like it. I'm not a huge wheat person. Back in like episode two, we had a number of wheat beers that I wasn't crazy about, um, and. 
while I wasn't immediately sold on this one, by the end of that glass, like I, I became a fan. It might have just been the 8.2 uh, ABV. <laughs> <laughs> You're doesn't, right. Doesn't matter what the purpose is, or reason is. Still the same, uh, still the same result. So uh, the Aventinus is a solid, solid beer. Pick that one up. It's not very expensive. None of these brews are. Well, this is probably the most expensive. Of them. Yeah, the, the, uh, the but you're, it's also a pint. Right. Where yeah. the others are just you know one of the twelve, 12 ounces. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, you know what? Ranking these would be extraordinarily difficult. Like, not for me. But well, <laughs> in, qu in quality, all uh, three right. are very quality beers. Yeah, on a personal preference. Yeah, yeah they'd be easy to. Uh, easy to um, rank, but quality, I think all three of these are from quality breweries um, that actually care about what they're making. And, and they they really, each one of them I think really epitomizes the style that they're they're going for. Like, sure. this yeah. is th this is every bit of milk stout that you would expect from a milk stout. Like, and it doesn't probably, do anything, doesn't do anything crazy. Better. Yeah, it doesn't do anything crazy. Like, whatever you think milk stout, this does it, and it does it all the way to 11. Yeah, you know, black IPA. Again, if that's what you like, this does it exactly like what you're going to expect. All the way to eleven wheat beers. This does that. So, like, these are almost like the the benchmarks for their styles to some extent. Uh, so that's I agree. Quality wise, they they all sit on an equal level. Yeah, I mean, personal personal levels aside, we're we're, we're trying to find a beer that you're going to like, and I think you're going to like all of these beers. Like. Even though we both didn't like the Black IPA, even if that's not your style, give it a try. It, you might like it because for the price, for the price, you're not missing out on yeah, it. You're, you're not going to lose much by trying it out. Um, that being said, uh, you can follow both Biggs and I on the Twitter sphere. Um, you can follow me at Ben C Marsh. I assume that it's a sphere because there's a bunch of fat people on it like me and you. Um, uh, you can we try. We try to round it out. If you <laughs> Round of applause for that one. Um, you can follow Biggs. At, uh, no, you're not. You might. You don't know that you're going to edit this. You're right. One. You may have been. I might, I might edit this one. Um, but uh, you can follow Biggs at, at the Drunken Devil. You can also follow us on Facebook uh, at facebook.com slash tankmatinee. Or just go to our website, you know, www.tankmatinee.com. It's not tanked manatee. Uh, or if you just want to watch tons and tons of videos, and by tons and tons, I mean like by volume. <laughs> there's, by volume, there's like six up right now. But uh, uh well, no, because uh, Roger Cormier has start has got a pretty good set up. Yeah. Us and them. So, but you can find all videos that we produce on YouTube.com/slash Tank Day as well. So. Yeah. So uh, give us a shot. Um, if you have any, you know, comments or questions, like please. You know, tweet us, shoot us a Facebook message. We love talking to our fans. Beer recommendations. Yeah, beer recommendations are always accepted. Um, if you want to give us free things. We like free things. Please give us free things. If you are a brewery and want to give us free things. God, do I love O'Connor's Black FBA. <laughs> hey! Mm. So, yeah, I mean... So yeah, anyways, uh, with that, special thanks to our studio audience. Uh, uh, an extra special thanks uh, to Pants to Ben, uh, my, uh, my uh, clothed counterpart, for providing the beers for tonight's uh, Beer to Brew review. Much appreciated there. Uh, with that, uh, we're going to say goodbye, and thanks for watching. We will be back with another episode, probably after the first of the year. I'll be the same. And, uh, <laughs>